Oh, welcome back to my man cave. This is not an expert here. Today I was going to be showing you a simple modification I made to the pulp chain on the powder feed here. I'll bring the camera in so you can get a closer up look. Okay, the way the powder feed works is you've got a piece of brass here and as you watch it as it goes up here I'll activate the powder charge. When you come back down the powder charge has to be returned to neutral so the chain pulls it back and as you see it coming down here the chain pulls the powder back now full way you need the spring compresses a little here to get a soft tension on it um, the thing I did want to show you here I'll just rotate that backwards you can see it is possible to go all the way up and not get the powder to activate come down and cycle it to the next station so you have to be careful on this machine to make sure that when you bring it up in this station that you bring it all the way up to activate the powder die otherwise you'll have a very dangerous load called a squib load and I'll maybe make another video about that in the future the pull chain actually worked fine for me I didn't have any problems with it it operated okay um, the problem though is that I like to empty all the powder out of my, you can't see it here, but obviously I like to em empty all the powder out of the powder meter every time. And it was just a hassle to undo this pull chain every time. Okay, my solution for the pull chain, I found that this would be a lot easier. This is just a clasp off a keychain and a simple piece of green cable here. And at the bottom, I do have the spring here. And I make a mechanism to capture it so it doesn't slide up and down. This is just a nut and bolt washer. And you only have to have it hand tight. You don't have to have it super tight. And I marked a reference point there. I don't know if you can see it. So I know where to put it back on and off every time. And in here, obviously, again, don't know if you can see it. But I just drilled a hole through there. So you put the cable through there, put that on top of it, and this tightens down on it. Pretty simple and been happy with it. It's worked fine. Okay, so here's a close-up of it. Here's the clasp off the um, keychain. I originally thought this was going to be an issue, that this is offline here, but it hasn't been an issue. You can see when it comes up and down, it grabs a hold of it, no problem. And when it comes down here, you can see that the keychain is still pulling on it. Oh, it's got it out of sync here. You can see that that's still pulling that firm pull down there. So that made an easy fix. Like I said, I like to empty the powder out of the powder measure every time. So I'm not sitting around. I don't know if absorbing moisture out of the air harms it or not. But I thought it'd be a little bit better to keep it back in its container when I'm done with it. So thanks for stopping on by.